Hello and welcome to another How to Craft Guide I whatever episode. So today we are learning how to craft a guardian eye. So let's begin. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host Berry Bite. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. First of all, simple items. You need prismarine shards, two of them, and prismarine crystals, also two of them. And I think you know where to get those. The next one is pearl, and you get pearl from clams. And when you get where you get where you get clams from drowned, and yeah. And how do you get a pearl from clam? Well, you need to crush it in the crushing wheel. Simple. I also heard there is another way, but I never tested it. That is by giving an oh hello there zombies and the guy, my nemesis. So apparently there is a way to get the clams to be opened by giving them to otters. And they will break it for you. And the pearl is not a 100% chance. But yeah, you can use otters if you find any to break the items for you. There you go. Come on guy, give us the pearl. There we go, it only took us few of the clams to get the pearl. Good boy. Next item on the list is Treasure Tooth. I hate this mob, you will hate it too when you encounter it. So basically what you need to do is just kill it. That's all there is. Go to any sea biome and you will find tons of those guys on the bottom of the sea and you know, they will crush your world. I hate those mobs. And you will too. Mark my words. Just so you know, so you know what to look for, this is how they look. And if you're in a survival, they're gonna pick you up and they won't let go of you. And again, you will hate them. And they spawn literally everywhere, so no reason for us to go to sea. Next item is Necromancer's Trident. This thing can be obtained on two ways. So let me show you. So you can kill the drowned necromancer, which has the chance to drop necromancer's trident, or you can craft it, which you need prismarine rod, drowned necromancer item, any clothing will work, and three elder guardian spines. And for prismarine rod you just put prismarine shards like this and you get a prismarine rod. But when you are hunting drowned necromancers, you get a chance to get either this piece of their clothing or necromancer trident. So whichever method works for you faster, do it. Then we have conduit. I think you know how to craft this. Just eight note loose shells and one heart of sea. It's sunken ship loot or buried loot and you know easy to find and easy to locate and easy to get and yada 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 the ender eye well guess what in this eye you don't need elder <laughs> you don't need ender eye you need elder eye yeah and you guessed it how do you get elder eye well you get it from elder guardian yeah so you find the elder guardian and you rework his license for life. In other words, you know, push him closer to the limit and when he is done, you get one of those loots. Hopefully it's Elder Guardian Spy or Elder Eye. Since you know, Elder Guardians don't respawn, so they are a limited quantity. But yeah, once you get that, you go over to your trusty chest, you take all the items out of it, like so and you go to your crafting table and put the old stuff in there by no order specific as you can see and voila you crafted your guardian eye bam so yeah that was how to craft a guardian eye quick easy and we like it not like the clockwork eye that is scary eye but anyways thank you guys for watching Leave a like, share, subscribe, maybe. You know what to do, what you do best, and stay awesome. Bye!